Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Gabrielle De La Garza, aka the New York Doctress, and thank you for joining me. I'm going to be doing your December 2020 tarot reading, and let's get right into it. So I have Capricorn and Taurus is the last two left, so we're going to put them in the bag and see who comes out. Taurus, yay! All right, so I'm excited, Taurus. So I, all right, so there's a couple things. So first things first, um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know, you know, have you been on this journey? Did you just start? Um, you know, have you been on it for a year? Do you know what a divine feminine is? Do you know what a twin flame is? Have you met your twin flame? Like, let me know, you know, like, who my audience is or who I'm talking to so I know you know where to start or where to go so you might be doing that as well Taurus like you might just be like looking for like I feel like you could help somebody more if they gave you a little bit more information Taurus like I feel like somebody like you could actually be of a help but I feel like this person needs to ask for help um I feel like you're not just gonna do it but I feel like you can help somebody, something along those lines. Um, I was also getting, there could be like the last two, yeah, two of cups. Wow, the last two, yeah, I feel like you're, did I say this right? Like, I don't know if there's like a competition between you and someone else, but how funny is that? I was just about to say, um, because, like here's the judgment card and then here's you and someone else, but I feel like you're very similar um, because my storage actually filled up, um, when it came down to you and Capricorn. So it was only you two that I wasn't able to finish. So I was like, all right, well, that definitely means something. But I wasn't sure exactly what at the time. Um, but you're both earth signs. So I felt like there was a very, there's something very similar about you and someone else that, um, someone could be choosing between you and somebody else, or this could be you, Taurus, uh, could be a love situation, but yeah, I, I feel like someone's definitely has to make a decision on something to do maybe within a relationship. Yeah, someone, someone's definitely stuck with something. And now the justice card is coming out. You could have, um, been to court recently, especially with both the judgment and the just, justice card both coming out. You could have been to court. Um, but there's been an end, there, there is definitely an ending to you being in your head. So, Taurus, if you've been in your head, because here's death and the eight of swords. So, like, there's, you know, you're ending to this all up in your head business. Like, you're not going to have to deal with this anymore. By the time the new year comes along, like, you're going to be out of your head and on your way, justice. How did we get into this reading, Taurus? How did this even start? <laughs> like, um, so, not all messages are going to resonate with every single Taurus. That would be completely impossible. Um, this message is also for Taurus moon, Taurus rising. Um, yeah, I see a heartbreak here, Taurus. I definitely see, or, you know, like thinking about a past person. Um, Three of Swords just popped out, but it's like, I, I feel like you've been you you've had your I feel like you have like three loves or like three main relationships that you've been in um I feel like you're happy yeah in your relationship four of wands right here at the bottom of the deck I feel like you're happy in your relationship but you you still think about these people because here's now a fourth candle first is three of swords now it's four of wands so it's like you have these three burning candles in one picture and then four burning candles on this side so I feel like that fourth burning candle is like your your most recent relationship um the person that you're with now but I feel like those other three past relationships like are very significant to your life like you've learned a really valuable lesson um per each relationship that you're in so it's like those flames still burn it's funny that we were just talking about like twin flames and things like that I feel like Taurus look that up if you're not familiar what a twin flame is definitely you should go check that out um, otherwise we could be talking about your twin flame. You could be with your twin flame right now, but something about these flames, but yeah, I feel like those three, your exes, like those flames still burn because they are, they were meant to teach you things. They were meant to help you on your path. Um, so you still have like a love for them or like a passion for them, but you're in a happy, healthy relationship now, if that makes sense. Again, this isn't going to apply for every single Taurus, but that's definitely the message for some Tauruses. 
right, let's see what's going on for the end of this hammer. Wow, that was like a little intro for you. Five minutes in. Let's talk about the end of December. I'm hearing disruption. Spirit is saying disruption. You may have a disruption. A disturbance. A distance. Woo! You see that? Three of Swords again! No way! Did you see that fly out? That was cool, right? Someone is definitely at a distortion. You are dealing with some sort of heartbreak. This is for this to just fly out again like that. Ace of Coins. I feel like your money is good. See, I feel like you had to make a sacrifice. Or at least you feel like you had to make a sacrifice. You feel like you have to sacrifice, like, your relationships for money. So as long as you're making money, it's like you kind of, like, put your relationships on the back burner. I feel like you need to find balance between them. Because you can have all the money in the world, but if, you have, if you're just... I mean, it's, there's one thing with being by yourself with yourself, and it's another thing to be lonely. Like, you don't want to be lonely for no reason, Taurus. Oh, excuse me. Um... Let's get more on this. What's going on for the end of December for Taurus? Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's this there's this heartbreak or something that's on your mind. Ten of Wands. It's just heavy. I I feel like It's it's funny because the wands are are actually beautiful. Like I don't know if you can see, but they're all these different colors. They're like pink and orange and green and blue and just like very bright. Uh, Brian, maybe Brian is significant. Um, Bryant, but I see like they're like highlighter colors almost. You could be, like, overwhelmed with paperwork or, like, highlighting something. Or maybe things need to be highlighted. This could be schoolwork. Um, I, I feel like the whatever you're thinking about has definitely... I feel like you're... Something about, like... Something's accumulate accumulating because you're not taking care of... I don't know... I, I, I'm hearing yourself, but I'm also hearing of something. Like, you're not taking care of something, so something else is accumulating. And although it looks really, you know, pretty, something about it, it's like, it's still a lot. It's like, the house looks pretty once it's decorated, but you still gotta put the work in to decorate. You still gotta get on the ladder. You still gotta risk your life on the roof, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, put Frosty on the roof. And hope you don't die in the meantime. Five of coins and nine of coins. Yeah, it's funny. Like, I, I feel like you go, so, so it's like you go home, Taurus, you relax, you put on your PJs, get in your blanket, like, put on the candle, probably watching TV. Like, I feel like you get super cozy at night, like, lights off, just like, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are watching you, but I feel like this could just be something on social media. Because um, I feel like you're alone, but you're not alone, if that makes sense. Um, this could also be very spiritual, too, because I see a lot of, like, spiritual things here as well. Like, you could be... Okay, I was getting this earlier, too. Yeah, now my ears are starting to ring. All right, I feel like, Spirit, if you're a little bit more on the path, again, not every person, this is... Not every message is going to resonate with every single Taurus. So if you're not at this part on the path, then just hang tight and we'll keep moving forward. But um, for the person who does need to hear this, Spirit is definitely going to start to talk to you more um, through, like, you may see something in, like, the reflection of the TV or you may see something in the reflection of, like, I'll give you just even for an example. I have this, like, Christmas ornament bowl um cookie jar and it's red and green but you can see in the reflection like you might see something you might see like a shadow figure or you might see um like something like a flash um you may also see what they call flurries and it's basically and this is i've i've been through this so this is true this actually happens i didn't just like hear about i heard someone talk about it 
as I was going through it, just like I'm doing for you. So it was really cool because I was like, all right, now I knew if I saw this that, and then I did see it. So here we are now, and now I'm hopefully helping you. They're basically, it looks like, it's like as if, like, you know, like the salt and pepper on, um, oh my God, my ear is ringing so crazy. You know the salt and pepper on the TV when it's like shh and everything it's it's almost like you're in a real life version of that it's like you see in real like we're talking in real life um like while you're awake not sleeping or anything like you see these little like it almost looks like little flurries like little like snowflakes but they're little like dots and you'll know exactly and it it's gonna be like when you're by yourself when no one's awake like it doesn't really happen when there's a lot of commotion it's just energy frequencies it's like basically you're just able to witness and see energy so i feel like um spirit is going to start to introduce your gifts to you but you have to go through this process first where you're almost aligning yourself with the energies you're like building up your frequencies i feel i feel like you're raising your energy or you're raising your frequency taurus that's what you're doing spirit is helping you raise your frequency i didn't even finish with these two cards wow that was just all this one fucking card taurus um but yeah i feel like they're giving you you might one two three four five like look out for like five different things like like you're gonna notice like the flicker of the candle is a little different or you're gonna notice like um you might smell something, you know, like there, there's going to be like all these, these are, this is just you raising your energy. It's going to be a little, it's, it's going to be a little scary because it's different, but nothing happens. Like nothing's going, bad's going to come out of it. But yeah, anyway, so moving on, that's the <laughs> spiritual message, Taurus. But I see you, so just be ready for the messages. That's all. They're, they're trying to get in touch with you. They're trying to help you move, push you along on this path. That's, that's what this is for. This is just like the beginning of it. Um, this is just the beginning stages. That's all baby steps but I see you like going to bed in the morning and then waking up looking like a million bucks like going and doing whatever you need to do whether it's going to the gym going to work hair done outfit pristine um again you can be in front of a lot of people or you can manage a lot of people um but I see you definitely being some sort of an influence to a large group of people this could be a, a lot of people like you, know, you could have thousands of followers or this could just be you know you at work and you manage nine people at a time 10 people 15 people 20 people that kind of thing um but yeah i feel like you drive a really nice car you keep your house really clean or i, I just i feel like i feel like and i i feel like taurus it changes like day to day like um like you're not how do i say this not that you're not the same person from day to night but like Like, you're very much a homebody when you're home. Like, you love being wrapped up in that blanket. You love having those candles on. You love seeing, like, the, you know, leaveless trees outside and that little bit of, like, a homey, creepy, like, just December, you know, type of a feeling. Christmas lights. But I see you. I see you. Mm. Aside from this heartbreak, let me get one more on the, oh, let me clarify these. I see you doing good. Let's get one on the three of swords, one on the three of swords, one on the three of swords. You need to clean out your closet, <laughs> clean it out my closet, and, and put some of these clothes on Poshmark or something. You have a closet full of clothes right now. Give me one on the three of swords. Give me one on the three of swords. You could be a big Dr. Seuss fan. Um, or just into like more of the eclectic type of movie lines like Avatar. Um, Star Wars. Sci-fi. All right, so we don't really want to talk about the three swords. I feel like if you're dealing with some sort of a heartbreak, I feel like you you it, it's not a you still come out you still come out on top because because with the nine of coins here too, it's like you're you're three of swords in it, right? You're in this heartbreak. 
give all these wands. I feel like someone made you work for this relationship, too. Like, they made you work, and they still broke your heart. Um, I feel like it took you a little while to get over it because, you, like, it, this, it's, like, three of swords, ten of wands, five of coins. You know, like, just disappointed. I feel like you could have lost money when you were with this person, which I feel like was a big sign from Spirit to tell you not to be with someone. Or if you are losing money with somebody right now, that's a sign to tell you not to be with them from Spirit. Um, pay attention to your... Yeah, page of coins just fell out. Um, and the magician is right here. Pay attention to your money when you're with somebody, especially if you're dating. And I feel like your money is a big telltale sign. I feel like in your life specifically, Taurus, like money is a big telltale sign of whether or not you should be with someone. Like it's an easy, easy peasy for you. Like you'll know right away because your money is either going to like increase or decrease like real quick. Yeah, two of cups again just came out, which was came out earlier, and Queen of Wands. So I feel like you you make it out on top. And Temperance, yeah, I, and I feel like somehow you end up um, you end up gaining more money. So you ended up losing money. You were heartbroken. You were fucking hurt, and then you literally had a fucking glow up, and you balanced yourself out. You could have just went through healing. Um, this could have been with your twin flame, like we were talking about earlier. Taurus but I just see you like shining so I, I just see you glowing like literally her hair every everything about this like the ride the jewelry like I just Taurus I just feel like you look hot as fuck or you know if you're a guy like I feel like you look handsome as hell I feel like something I feel like you just got you just got over something you just got over it it was like one day you woke up and all of a sudden it was just done and you were like I feel it was like you were just a whole new person Good for fucking you. The magician, yeah, and you made that happen. You fucking made that happen, Taurus. You did that. The star, yeah. Yeah, you did. Yo, you did some magic shit. Or did you do magic? Or did you, like, work on something? You did something? Yo, you did something on purpose that manifested something incredible. And if this hasn't happened already, it's gonna happen, Taurus. I feel like you are literally manifesting um, either fame or fortune and i'm talking like big money um i'm talking like hundreds of thousands of followers things of that nature with the star card coming out this could also be with an aquarius where you could have aquarius highly aspected in your chart um but i see you just completely having control over your life um i see you looking it back at your past and actually having healed or are in the process of healing or are starting the process of healing i'm hearing that as well because for you to have this star card you you must have started that race like like the gunshot like we're, we're off you're off you're off you're on the path and you're doing a really fucking good job so I'll keep it up taurus wow i'm so that makes me so happy yeah and just patience patience and time time and patience it's yours it's yours. I feel like you deserve whatever this is. Someone put you through some fucking mayhem and you've either been waiting or, or yeah, six of cups. Like, I, I feel like you're going to be praised for something that you've done. And I feel like you've, you found something out about yourself that you weren't even aware of. Um, and would have never found out had you not gone through this breakup or had you not gone through this like traumatic event that actually happened. I feel like you, this could have even been a, a complete divorce. Um, but I feel like you made out with money in the end, if this is what that is. Or this could even be like a job situation. Any other messages for Taurus for the end of December 2020? Any other important messages for the end of December for Taurus? Seven of coins. I just, again, I see a knight of coins. Yeah, so you could be dating. Um, just be mindful that money isn't everything. So if someone's, like, showing you cash, doesn't mean they actually have it. Um, you know, I feel like there's going to be... Pe I feel like people are going to... Be mindful that people are going to try to, like, show off with money. Yeah, king of wands, but they just want to fuck. <laughs> Basically, end of December. I, I don't see anything serious as far as love if you're single. Um, but I also see if you're in a relationship that things are actually really perfect. So if you're not in a relationship, I don't see any love coming. But if you are in a relationship, I see things being really balanced. Like, look, I feel like you guys are at the Christmas tree. Like, enjoying Christmas, enjoying New Year's. Like, look at that. Like, oh my god, how cute. Like, decorating. I just got, like, all this, like, lovey-dovey stuff. So, Taurus, all right, I hope you have a really great time. Um, this Christmas, this holiday season, whatever you celebrate. And I will... 
hopefully be back actually before New Year's because I want to do the January reading. So, all right, Taurus, I love you very much. Make sure you subscribe, like, support the channel, and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Okay, bye.